Hello, my name is David Woldridge, and today with Ridge Wilderness Adventures, we're going to take a look at how to paddle a big canoe. This video is going to focus on how to steer the back of the big canoe and lead a group of people that have never paddled before. One of the beauties with the big canoe is that with one person in the stern who knows what they're doing, they can take out a group of people that really have never paddled before. So it's a beautiful way to introduce people to canoeing. The basic paddle strokes we use to steer are the stationary pry and the stationary draw. You'll see how these work in the next clip. The stationary pry is held behind you like a rudder. Its goal is to steer the canoe towards your paddle side. The stationary draw is held far from the canoe and pulls the back end towards the paddle blade, steering you the opposite direction. In the beginning, you'll go back and forth between the draw and the pry to steer the canoe. This can be done either, like you see here with an in-water recovery, or in a moment, you'll see how we do an out-of-water recovery. From a different vantage point, you can see that when I pry, the canoe turns. This is our strongest steering stroke. If I want a gentle correction, that's when I use the draw, as you'll see here. If the stationary pry doesn't work, we transform it into an active pry. The active pry allows for more power and more steering. You'll notice what I'm doing is I'm prying away from the canoe and then turning the blade 90 degrees on itself to recover back to the boat to continue with the pry. Now that we've seen the stationary draw, the stationary pry, and the active pry, let's watch how we use those in a sequence of paddling. You'll notice that I switch back and forth between a pry an active pry, and a draw. And when I really need to turn the canoe, I switch sides to pry. In addition to the stern person's paddle strokes, you also have a number of paddlers in your canoe that you can utilize to help you. The progression is stationary pry, active pry, and then we start to think about engaging some of our paddlers. Now at a basic level, all that that means is having one side of the canoe rest. An easy way to remember which side you want to rest is it's the side that you're prying on. That way the outside paddlers are assisting you with the turn while the inside paddlers get a bit of a break. The stern paddler is actually the most active paddler in the canoe. You'll notice that when I'm not prying or drawing, I'm paddling forwards. We don't want to just be in the back a dead weight. We want to add to the propulsion wherever possible. A key concept in big canoeing, if not in all canoeing, is that the stern person needs to initiate everything first. You'll notice that I don't ask any of the other paddlers in the canoe to do something until I myself am active. This concept is going to be very important a little bit later on, and the more advanced you get in your big canoe paddling. A very important skill is stopping. This one's pretty self-explanatory. A pivot starts with the stern paddler initiating with active prize and asking for the prying side paddlers to back paddle, then switches to the other side for them to forward paddle. This alternation gives the best and most efficient pivot possible while also allowing people to rest. The ability to dock a big canoe with novice paddlers who don't have draws or prize is really important. The way we do this is you slide up to the dock and then the paddlers beside the dock back paddle and this slides you in towards it as you see here.
Unlike a small canoe, where if you capsize, you may have one or two people in the water, in a big canoe you can have between 6 and 25 people that have never been in a canoe before. So as the leader, you need to be able to run that rescue. Once everybody's in the water, make sure everybody's okay and get them back to the canoe. As you, the leader, dip the gunnel down, the flotation in under the seats and in the core of the canoe and in the end tanks will allow water to start to pour out, reducing the amount that you need to bail. It's at this point that you want to get somebody to swim around to the other side of the canoe they're going to be ballast as we get people in. The leader gets in first. The reason for this is that you can start to bail while issuing directions to the people in the water. There's two methods for bailing. The one that I'm using here is the paddle. This I found to get the most amount of water out of the canoe. Unfortunately, you need to stand in order to do it, so it does take a bit of balance. The other methods will be using your bail buckets, which you'll see in a moment. As the freeboard allows, or the amount of canoe out of the water, get all of your paddlers into the canoe. Hopefully they can help you bail. If not, they're at least out of the water. As a recap, the stationary pry, the active pry, the stationary drop, being able to stop, pivot, dock, and rescue your canoe are your primary leading skills. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the water.